Item Number SCP-2228 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures Instances of SCP-2228 are to be stored in their original packaging inside Storage Vault 12 at Site-73. Access to SCP-2228 requires Level 2 credentials, and any instances of SCP-2228 removed from Storage Vault 12 for any reason must be logged on Site-73's database. Description. SCP-2228 refers to a series of identical box sets, each 30 by 30 by 15 cm in length, of polyethylene figures labeled SCP Foundation Containment Site Playset, with Dr. Wondertainment given as the item's manufacturer. The graphics covering the packaging consist of the following, an SCP Foundation logo with the playset's title written beneath it. Above an artist's depiction of a Foundation containment cell containing a creature with several violet tentacles assaulting what appears to be a Class D individual through its open doors, along with two individuals in lab coats taking cover under a table, and two individuals in tactical gear opening fire on the creature. The sides of the box are illustrated with photographs of the contents of the box in various configurations, most with children's hands manipulating the objects. The underside of the box details its contents and displays the following message. Object Class Fun Special Containment Procedures All junior researchers are to have hours of anomalous fun with their new SCP Foundation Containment Site Playset. Description. The SCP Foundation Containment Site Playset contains everything a junior researcher such as yourself needs to secure, contain, and protect anything you can imagine. Simply add any item into the containment cell, and our patented Instant Anomalizer technology will give it a unique set of anomalous properties you can experiment on. Addendum: Do not add living creatures, weapons, or items with pre-existing anomalous properties to the containment cell's Instant Anomalizer. Dr. Wondertainment is not responsible for any physical or mental damage caused by misuse of the SCP Foundation containment site playset. Ages 8-14. Some assembly required, batteries not included. The SCP Foundation, SCP Foundation logo, and Secure Contain Protect are registered trademarks of the SCP Foundation, all rights reserved. The contents of the box are as follows. Two models, 10 cm in height, of individuals dressed in lab coats with Foundation logos on the right breast. Two models, 10 cm in height, of individuals equipped in gear typical of Foundation security personnel. One model, 10 cm in height, of an individual in an orange jumpsuit with D-1234 written across the back. Several model accessories, including clipboards, test tubes, pistols, and batons designed to be held by the above models. One disassembled enclosure, approximately 20 by 20 by 10 cm in dimensions. Along the enclosure's front side, there is a blast door style opening with containment cell written above it. Its left side has a transparent window and its backside has what appears to be a generator or power supply, with a removable panel for the insertion of two AA batteries. One 10 by 15 cm sheet of paper, containing information on an upcoming Global Occult Coalition-type green termination playset. SCP-2228's anomalous effects manifest whenever an object small enough to fit inside the containment cell is placed within it when two AA batteries are inserted into its back panel. The item will develop minor anomalous properties for the duration of an individual interacting with SCP-2228. These properties typically manifest as anomalous means of interaction with other components of SCP-2228. Recovery 300 instances of SCP-2228 were recovered in transit from a truck owned by the shipping company following the interception of a commercial broadcast on May 19, 2003. Debriefing of shipping company's employers has revealed that they were not aware of any anomalous activities by Dr. One Entertainment, and had only recently accepted a contract for the shipment of the organization's products to local retailers. All employees were administered Class B amnestics with false memories implanted, and documents concerning the shipment were replaced. The broadcast that led to the discovery of SCP-2228 has been transcribed below. Transcript 2228-01 Scene opens with two children, 
one male subject A and one female subject B, approximately 8 to 12 years of age, expressing disinterest while playing with toys in a suburban household. Subject A These old toys sure are boring. Subject B Uh huh. A bright flash and a puff of smoke occur behind subject A and B. The smoke clears, revealing a middle aged man wearing a multicolored suit and top hat, along with thick glasses that magnify the subject's eyes to an exaggerated degree. Subject C. Subject A and B. Dr. Wondertainment! That's right, children. Why just play with these boring old toys when you can? Subject C points to the set's dining room table. Another bright flash and puff of smoke is seen, which reveals the fully assembled instance of SCP-2228 when it clears. Contain them! View changes to subjects A and B, who are now dressed in lab coats. Subjects A and B. Whoa! View changes again to an isometric view of the fully assembled SCP-2228. Subject B places a toy horse in the containment cell. The toy horse appears to teleport within the cell several times. Small text appears on the bottom of the screen reading, actual results may vary. Subject B. My horsey can teleport now! Subject A places a toy soldier in the cell. The Class D figurine appears to spontaneously levitate before being slammed repeatedly against the cell walls. Subject A. And my action figure can move things with his mind! The blast door of the cell opens, and one of the researcher figurines repeats the action of the Class D figurine. Subject A. Oh no! A containment breach! Subject B. We better send in security! Subject B places one of the security figurines in the enclosure. The soldier figurine shakes in place for a short period before falling over. View changes to a static image of a box containing SCP-2228 laid on its side, behind a fully assembled instance of SCP-2228. Voice over of Subject C With the SCP Foundation Containment Site playset, you can have anomalous amounts of fun helping our friends at the SCP Foundation contain anything you can imagine. Coming soon to a store near you. Some assembly required, batteries not included. Undercover Foundation agents have conducted interviews with 24 individuals, including actors, directors, and technical specialists involved with the production of this broadcast, which revealed that none involved were aware of the object's anomalous properties, nor were they aware of the activities or actual existence of the SCP Foundation. Further research revealed that the mass production of SCP-2228 had been outsourced to manufacturing, and the graphics on the box were outsourced to designs, with a total of no fewer than 200 individuals gaining limited knowledge of the Foundation and Dr. Wondertainment. This has been classified as a Class I low-threat information leak. As such, further amnestic treatments have been deemed unnecessary and a Class I disinformation campaign was put into place. The SCP Foundation and the Global Occult Coalition are currently monitoring commercial broadcasts for the future release of any similar anomalous or compromising products. Experiment Log 2228 Experiment 2228-01 Rationale the purpose of this experiment is to replicate the circumstances noted in the commercial broadcast of SCP-2228. Materials and Procedures One instance of SCP-2228, fully assembled. One plastic horse figurine, similar to the one shown in the broadcast. One plastic soldier figurine, similar to the one shown in the broadcast. All components of SCP-2228 will be placed in a similar configuration to that shown in the commercial. The horse figurine will be placed in the model containment cell, followed by the soldier figurine. Results. Approximately five seconds after introduction to SCP-2228's containment cell, the horse figurine began levitating two centimeters off of the ground. The Class D figurine then slid over the horse figurine, before lifting itself on top of it and assuming a seated position. The horse figurine continued to levitate at varying heights while circling the containment cell. The horse figurine was removed, and the soldier figurine was introduced. The portion of the soldier figurine painted to resemble skin began to glow red, and after a short period of time, the Class D figurine's face melted. No heat was produced during this process, and the soldier and Class D figurine returned to normal after the soldier figurine was removed. Experiment 2228-02 Rationale 
This is a repetition of Experiment 2228-01, where the purpose of determining if any patterns can be discerned from SCP-2228's anomalous properties. Materials and Procedures The same materials and procedures used in Experiment-01 were repeated in this experiment, with the exception of a different instance of SCP-2228. Results. Upon introduction into SCP-2228's containment cell, the Class D figurine again slid towards the horse figurine and assumed a seated position on top of it. The horse figurine then achieved sudden acceleration to around 25 meters per second, as well as sudden deceleration to a stationary position upon coming within one millimeter of the containment cell's walls. Neither the Class D figurine nor the horse figurine suffered any damage from these accelerations despite the forces involved. The horse figurine was removed, and the soldier figurine was introduced. After a few seconds, the soldier figurine slid towards the Class D figurine and raised its arms to make contact with it. The Class D figurine's limbs and head detached from its torso, which was spontaneously flung towards one of the cell walls. Note, it seems that, while the actual properties given to these items by SCP-2228 don't remain constant, they do seem to match the context of the items, such as the horse gained properties related to transportation, and the soldier gained offensive abilities. Dr. Rayner Experiment 2228-03 Rationale The purpose of this experiment is to determine how the anomalous effects of SCP-2228 apply to objects with a less specifically defined context. Materials and Procedures One red neoprene ball, 5 cm in diameter. Three instances of SCP-2228 fully assembled. The ball will be placed in one instance of SCP-2228 until SCP-2228's anomalous effect manifests. The experiment will be repeated on two more instances of SCP-2228 to determine if any patterns can be observed in these manifestations. Results. Shortly after introduction into the first instance of SCP-2228, the ball began to levitate 5 cm off of the floor. All other figurines began to levitate and move around the ball in a circular motion. All figurines ceased motion after the removal of the ball. The ball was introduced into the second instance of SCP-2228. The object began to bounce on its own quickly picking up speed before changing direction and randomly bouncing off of the walls of the enclosure, eventually impacting the Class D figurine before coming to a stop. The ball was then removed and introduced to the third instance of SCP-2228. The object began to roll towards the Class D figurine, then stayed at its side and bounced in place. Repositioning the Class D figurine caused the ball to repeat this action. Notes. This seems to support my theory of the context sensitivity of SCP-2228's properties. These manifestations were at least tangentially related to the ball, but I am curious to see what happens as we introduce increasingly abstract objects. Dr. Rayner Experiment 2228-04 Rationale The purpose of this experiment is to determine how the properties of SCP-2228 manifest when exposed to an invented object with no previously defined context. Materials and Procedures One white ABS sculpture, approximately 5 cm cubed, produced via 3D printer. The object consists of a random configuration of organic shapes, and was designed so that it did not resemble any common object or organism. Three instances of SCP-2228 fully assembled. The sculpture will be placed in one instance of SCP-2228 until SCP-2228's anomalous effect manifests. The experiment will be repeated on two more instances of SCP-2228 to determine if any patterns can be observed in these manifestations. Results. Upon introduction to the first instance of SCP-2228, the sculpture changed into a fluid, amorphous state, which approached the Class D figurine and engulfed it. The object then exited the instance's door and repeated its action on each of the researcher and security guard figurines. Upon removal from the instance of SCP-2228, the five figurines were discarded from the sculpture's mass before it resumed its original shape. Of note is the fact that the sculpture still felt solid while in its amorphous state. <clears throat> the sculpture was then introduced to the second instance of SCP-2228 where it caused a minor spatial anomaly, whereby the interior of the instance containment cell expanded into an extra-dimensional pocket, 
roughly one meter squared. Upon removal of the sculpture, the instance resumed its original form. However, the extra-dimensional space contracted quickly and launched a Class D figurine towards the ceiling with sufficient force to cause a major fracture to Dr. Reiner's zygomatic bone upon hitting him in the face. The test was suspended after this incident. Experiment 2228-05 Note: Dr. Brigham is overseeing the testing of SCP-2228 while Dr. Reiner is recovering from his injury. In light of the incident during Experiment 2228-04, all staff involved in any further experiments have been instructed to wear protective visors and padding. Rationale. The purpose of this experiment is to determine the purpose of the warnings on the SCP-2228 packaging. Materials and Procedures One Glock 17 9mm handgun unloaded. Anomalous Item Number 4819, chosen for its innocuous anomalous effects. One specimen of species Radis norvegensis. One instance of SCP-2228, fully assembled. Each item will be introduced to the instance of SCP-2228 until its anomalous properties manifest. Results. Shortly after introduction to SCP-2228, the specimen of Radis norvegensis grew to nearly three times its original volume. The subject then underwent convulsions before expiring. Upon removal from SCP-2228, the subject returned to its original size. An autopsy of the subject revealed that the cause of death was a massive seizure, presumably brought on by shock of its sudden change of mass.